All right, I want to do a quick test prep video for, uh, for the Buddhism test. So first we want to bulk up our three question sheet. So the good thing about Buddhism is, you know, some, some religions fit better in the three question format than others, and Buddhism fits very nicely. So question number one, align, so the four noble truths, very important to know, um, and they fit very nicely. Number one fits very nicely into, into what is the human condition, numbers two and three into where are we going, and number four, into how do we get there? So let's look at that. Number one, human condition. You just believe humans are caught in samsara, in the cycle of existence, characterized by maya, tanha, and hatred slash aversion, leading to dukkha. Okay, so dukkha is number one. The state of the human condition is that uh, all is suffering. I also decided to, uh, you don't have to do this, but it would be, be impressive if you could uh, explain the three kinds of suffering, Dukkha Dukkha, the Paranama Dukkha, and Samkara Dukkha. By the way, these three things are the cause of um, suffering. So that's the noble, noble truth number two. There is a cause of suffering. Maya, ignorance or illusion, Tanha, craving, and hatred slash aversion. These two are actually flip side of the same coin. I want this, I don't want that. They're also sometimes referred to as the three poisons, ignorance, desire, aversion. All right, so where are we going? Uh, we're going to either a favorable or unfavorable rebirth after death, reincarn reincarnation, or to enlightenment through entering nirvana. So nirvana is the noble truth number three. There is a, a, an end to suffering. It's a transcendent state, blah, blah, blah. Or to Buddhahood or Bodhisattvahood. Now, that essentially is just a you know further explanation of Nirvana. Um, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas are, go to Nirvana or or eventually go. Um, Bodhisattvahood, by becoming a Bodhisattva, involves the mind of a Bodhisattva, which is called Bodhicitta or Bodhisattva mind. And it's uh, characterized by two uh, things: uh, Panya and Karuna which mean wisdom and compassion, respectively. So, how do we get there? Uh, there's a lot of stuff written here. Uh, you know, the three jewels. I take refuge in the Buddha, the Dharma, the Sangha. And you know that. But, uh, or accepting the four noble truths, which we've unpacked. But the main thing, the main answer is following the middle way, also known as the noble eightfold path. And that is the, the fourth noble truth, the, uh, the path to the cessation of suffering. Uh, nirvana is a cessation of suffering. And don't need to do this necessarily, but it would be really impressive if you could break out the eight elements of the path. We'll, we'll talk about them in much more detail later this semester, but, you know, uh, right speech, right action, right effort, right mindfulness, right thought, right uh, 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 understanding, and right, right concentration, right understanding. Salem TCU I use as a, uh, a mnemonic. Um, following the precepts consistent with a layer monastic life, those are just stricter versions of these. Um, following the path of the Bodhisattva, uh, which is uh, Bodhicitta, which is you know wisdom and compassion. Uh, I think it might be good to know um, uh, the concept of uh, of no self, which is a general Buddhist concept that there is no permanent self, just this flow, a candle or a river. Uh, and the Mahayanas take this to another level. The Mahayana doctrine of emptiness, meaning all things are empty of, uh, of meaning. Uh, we see uh, them and us, uh, but there is there's only unity. There is no, there is no duality. There's only unity. Uh, that would be a cool thing to know. All right. Uh, so let's look at a question really quickly. Uh, so this passage is from the Dhammapada. Uh, long is, the, is night for the wakeful. Long is a league for the weary, a mile for the weary. Long is samsara for fools who do not know the true Dhamma. Dhamma is the Pali word for Dharma uh, or, or teaching. So that, that's the, the original Buddhist scripture, the Dhammapada, is the, the Four Noble Truths, the, the, the oral teaching of the Buddha. So... Um, what does the passage tell us about the concept of samsara? And we look at number two to get the, uh, again, it's samsara. Okay, so we're talking about samsara, obviously. Um, you know, long is the night for the wakeful, long is the league, 
Long is samsara for fools. Why fools? Because they do not know the Dharma. If you know and apply the Dharma, if you follow the path, you will achieve nirvana, which is escape from samsara. So remember, um, remember to, uh, there, there are two questions. Put, put your answers into two different parts. Sometimes you run them together. Don't do that. Uh, and here we're looking for three marks, three facts pulled out of here and elaborated on about the concept of samsara. That's so easy. Um, you know, it's, it's suffering. Long is the league for the weary. Uh, long is the night for the wakeful. Um, it, is, it is caused by ignorance. Uh, ignorance of uh, what? Uh, ignorance of the Dharma. Uh, and, uh, you know, ignorance, uh, craving, and, and aversion. Learning and adhering to the Dharma of which will help us follow the path and break free. A lot of things you can say. Say three things and move on. Your second question, explain why samsara is long for fools. Well, I would, I, I would take a minute or two to try to come up with a structure for your answer, um, but the structure is simply a framework for unpacking um, what you know about the three-question sheet, which is, which is the Dharma, basically. It's the Four Noble Truths. Unpack that, explicate, explain, and that will be a great answer. I also will remind you to... Uh, 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 not, um, you know, to, to be thorough. You don't have to limit yourself to this length of a question. Uh, so um, uh, be thorough. Sometimes y'all have not been as thorough. Uh, and that is how you do well on this test.